Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Well, Shannon, happy holiday. Uh, same to you. <laughs> I want my audience to know that Shannon Cook, she's here with Spotify. She's going to tell us about the trends because she's a trends and a music expert. <laughs> All right, Spotify has been, been really just on everybody's lips this year, Shannon. So this year, tell us about, you know, maybe the most streamed artist, male and female of the year. Can we start there? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Well, our, our most streamed artist of the year is the singer-songwriter Post Malone. Um, he's this really young dude who is one of the best songwriters out there at the moment. Um, his music alone in 2019 streamed more than six and a half billion times on Spotify. He's pretty popular. Wow. And our, our second most streamed artist and our most streamed female artist is Billie Eilish. Um, I'm sure, Valda, you've heard of this girl. She's been absolutely everywhere. She's only 17. Actually, she's about to turn 18. Uh, but so young and has really broken the mold of like the typical female pop artist. She sings, she, her music's a little bit broody um, and she's not afraid to, to, to be a little bit dark. She wears really baggy clothes and she's just like, this is who I am. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want, basically. And our listeners absolutely have embraced her. Her music has streamed more than six billion times this year as well. And our, our third most streamed artist of the year is Ariana Grande, uh, who's Every song she releases basically turns to gold <laughs> with our listeners. She released an album in um, early this year in February called Thank You Next, and it's spawned multiple hits, two of which are approaching one billion streams each. So a really big year for Ariana Grande as well. Well, kudos to all of those people to get a billion to anything on this planet. Is I, know. <laughs> I know. Okay. What about the top stream song of the year? Well, the most stream song of the year didn't come from any of those, the artists that I just mentioned. It's actually the song Senorita by... Uh, um, yeah! It's a really cool song by Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes. Um, yeah, this, this song was streamed more than a billion times. It was our song of the summer, really steamy fun, um, lovable pop song. Uh, our second most streamed song comes from Billie Eilish, It's Bad Guy. And our third most streamed song is one of my favorites from the year, I've streamed it a lot. It's Sunflower by um, Post Malone and featuring the rapper Sway Lee. This song, um, it's, it stems from the Spider-Man, the latest Spider-Man movie. Really nice song. Okay, so they're kind of crossing over Post Malone and Billie Eilish. They're just, they're just hitting their stride. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, the top stream album? The most streamed album um, came from Billie Eilish. Um, it's her album. It has a really great title, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? It's a valid question. I wonder about oh, that myself. Oh, that's my question. <laughs> where do we go? I just asked the dentist when he put you under, well, where does my soul go? I can relate to that. I got to get that. Yeah, and you know what? It doesn't really matter where it goes. As long as it takes you away from the dentist, it's all good. Yep. <laughs> and it comes back. <laughs> yeah, that's the good yeah. part. Yeah, you want to come back from that. So that's the top streamed uh, album. That's the mm -hmm. only one, Billie Eilish? Oh, yeah. Well, um, Post Malone's latest album also did, did really well. And um, Ariana Grande's album, Thank You, Next, also did really well this year. I told you, they, they've hit in their stride <laughs> there. Okay. How about the big, biggest music trends this year? Well, a couple of things that we noticed. Um, K-pop, the, you know... Uh, popular genre that uh, stems from South Korea. That's done really, really well. We've seen a lot of growth. It's been popping up in, in all kinds of countries around the world. Also, the band Queen is having a real moment on Spotify. Ever since the biopic came out at the towards the end of 2018, our younger listeners have really been digging into Queen's catalogue. Uh, their song Bohemian Rhapsody has won it. Mm -hmm. One of the top tracks of, of 2019, and also the Beatles do really well. So I think it's always really nice to see that our core listeners, who are really just between the ages of 18 and 22, not only are they into the Billie Eilishes and the Post Malones of the world, but they're also interested in these, these veteran legacy artists and bands like Queen and the Beatles. I uh, know that's correct. And I had a K-pop group. I can't remember their name. BTS? But anyway, they were on my show. I mean, they've got over like 500,000 uh, views on my on my site. Oh, really? Who was that it? Is, was it that, were they girls or boys? The boys. Was it BTS? I don't know. No. I, I know. My <laughs> producer's going to kill me. I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the most popular playlist. 
the most popular play well our most streamed playlist on Spotify or our most followed playlist rather is a playlist called today's top hits it has nearly 20 million followers and it's exactly what its title suggests it's it's the songs that are really really popular on Spotify at the moment and it's probably the playlist that I listen to the most because it's just a great way to keep up to date on what's popular and what's charting well Oh, so that's your personal playlist? Because that's a question from uh, somebody on Facebook. They want to know what your personal playlist is. My personal playlist? Well, I have many. Um, I make a lot of playlists for road trips with my two kids. I have two little girls. Um, so I have some playlists with a lot of kid-friendly music from Bruno Mars. Not, not all his music is kid-friendly, but um, <laughs> certainly some great Bruno Mars songs for kids. Also, my kids really like Kelly Clarkson at the moment. So I have a lot of kid-centric playlists <laughs> on my personal well, Shannon, account. I love adoring you that you come on the Valder Beebe show and I'm <laughs> Spotify, so thanks for being my guest. And 2020 is going to be another great year. Yeah, I look forward to chatting next year. Thank you, Shannon. Happy holiday. Same to you, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely.